Hello, everyone. My name is Anil Kokaram. I am the head of the Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering here at Trinity College Dublin. And I'd like to talk to you about our Taught Master's Program in Electronic Information Engineering. So first of all, just a few words about the department. There are roughly four areas of interest in the department. There is a group in music and media technology that run their own program in music and media technology, a master's in music and media technology. Then um, there is a group in communications and future networks, another one in electronic platforms, digital and analog platforms, and a group in signal processing and control. Now, all the staff are involved in international research programs, and in particular, several staff are involved in the ADAPT Science Foundation Ireland Centre and the CONNECT SFI Centre. CONNECT is a, is a major initiative in communications and ADAPT is a major initiative in digital media. Professor Dan Kilper is the leader of the CONNECT initiative and I encourage you to have a look at those uh, websites up on the top left of this slide. Now the department is ranked uh, number one in Ireland and is uh, well ranked internationally. And the program that we have offered here in electronic information engineering draws on the strengths of all the staff members. So technology certainly continues to evolve and you have seen the emergence of many devices that continues to affect your life and change your career and make your the, the, the job market changed dramatically in the last five or 10 years. And all of these uh, systems rely on an underlying substrate of uh, increasing amounts of automation and electrical component design, especially in terms of the sensors that they use. In this course, you will be exposed to all of the underlying technology in these electronic platforms. And what we're trying to do is to help you survive in the age of automation. You would have heard about Industry 4.0 and the, the, the massive impact that automation is having in the job market. Market It has certainly affected engineering and this program is uh, prepares you for that evolution in the future. So there is a substrate of work in machine learning and computational methods upon which is built a number of specialisms in telecoms, audio video engineering and bioelectronics. Certainly you want to know what sort of jobs this sort of course, this course prepares you for and the, the jobs are there, a list of jobs are there on the left hand side from speech recognition, system designers to video coding, R&D to uh, streaming media engineer and uh, companies on the right hand side there are companies that our graduates have um, all found work with, and I have to say that the pandemic has not affected the job market in this area. And all of these companies are actually based in Dublin hiring our graduates. And we are fortunate to have bursaries being offered by Huawei and Qualcomm, which we administer and will continue to do so throughout the next academic year. Just to give you a snapshot of some of the people and uh, lectures that you will be exposed to, the deep learning course was the first course of its kind in Ireland and is offered by Francois Pitié. You could have a look at his webpage to see his uh, research work. And you could also go to um, that GitHub page, which um, shows you the sort of things you'll be doing in that course. And uh, you'll certainly be learning about the, the practical applications of neural networks in, in real systems. So you'll learn about using Google Cloud Platform to uh, launch uh, neural network inference engines and uh, during the course you will actually deploy inference engines on real data like uh, controlling the motion of a car around a racetrack. Another course which um, is worth highlighting is the motion picture engineering course and it's taught by uh, one of our lecturers who quite unusually won an Oscar about 10 years ago and um, he teaches motion picture engineering and is the, the MSc course coordinator. And because of that award and uh, his connection with industry, that course in motion picture engineering has a number of very influential guest lecturers from 
significant major engineering teams around the world. So we, this year, for instance, we have two Oscar winners speaking to the class, Simon Robinson and Peter Hillman. And we also have Payman Millenfar, who uh, was involved in, in the development of the image processing tools for the Pixel phone and works in the R&D team of Google. And Paul Wilkins, who uh, invented the video codec that first was launched by YouTube many years ago. So the sort of student that we are looking for, certainly you will have a, a degree in electronic engineering or some variant, including electronic information engineering. But more importantly, you will have uh, done modules in signal processing, control engineering, or machine learning. And we expect you to have at least a 2-1 from a four-year undergraduate degree program. And once you get past our screening, you will have to get through our short interview. And getting past that means you're into a program where we expect you to be uh, relatively independent, especially in the operation of your year-long research project. And this is something that's very important for us. Um, it helps if you have had uh, done an individual report in a capstone project before, for instance, in the final year of your undergraduate program. We expect you to write and communicate well in English. Certainly expect you to have a good background in engineering mathematics. And we want you to have good, strong time man management skills because this is a, a, a year-long intensive program. So here's a snapshot of quotations from uh, students from uh, about a year ago. And you see on the top left there, the student um, is talking about the, the close guidance that you will get from your supervisors, especially about your year-long research project. Uh, on, and then the other students are commenting on how well prepared our course prepares them for work in industry. And uh, like I said, all our students have gotten work in this area uh, after graduating. Now, the, the teaching modalities are, of course, a, a mixture of lectures and assignments, uh, in-class tests, as well as final tests. Um, your pass mark is 50% on all the modules, and you must pass all the taught modules to uh, graduate with the award. What's very important as well is that research project, which is conducted throughout the year until the end of July 2021 and you will be assigned uh, a supervisor early on in the program, and that supervisor will, will guide you through the research project uh, throughout the year. So these are the master's module choices for the upcoming year, and uh, you will be, the, the, the modules in red are mandatory, so there's a research methods module, and two important met modules in deep learning and computational methods, and then uh, I just want to highlight those four modules in blue, cyber physical systems, computational transportation, quantum computing, and geophysical simulation. These constitute uh, a new area in computational engineering, which uh, we are uh, launching as part of this, of this electronic information engineering program. And they sort of address the, the, the sustainability and, um, and energy goals of the new E3 initiative in uh, Trinity College from a computational aspect, right? So, so we're introducing a, a new series of modules that allows or acknowledges that engineers are now involved in a, a wider range of application areas than ever before. So on the top right, for instance, in weather prediction, uh, in the bottom right, in um, the simulation and computation for transportation flows in urban environments. And um, of course, in the bottom left, cyber physical systems, which is now a mixture of embedded systems, internet of things, and uh, control engineering. And on the top left, uh, we are launching a, a, a small, program in quantum algorithms that teaches you how to use quantum machines to achieve the, the latest in performance. To give you some idea of our 
projects available. All our staff are, of course, research active. And here is just a snapshot of a few projects. Uh, Professor Naomi Hart works in speech recognition and analysis, and uh, she's particularly interested in emotion and gender in speech and uh, trying to make recognition engines sensitive to those um, sorts of, of issues or features. Professor Srijit Shankar is working in the general area of hardware for intelligent machines and especially reconfigurable hardware, which is right now the, the only reason that much of the internet could keep up with the demand for applications in the cloud. In the top right uh, is Professor Nicola Marchetti, who is working the, in the area of Internet of Things and telecommunications. And he is this year actually running uh, a project in the use of um, uh, wireless technologies for detection of COVID, which is uh, quite, quite amazing. And uh, in the bottom right, Harun Saliak, who is a, a new lecturer in our department and his area is cyber physical systems and control as well as communication engineering and uh, he will be launching a new program in that area and just as an application here we're just demonstrating uh, and we have a demonstration up in the lab now which um, is allowing gesture control of a, a micro drone now another thing i didn't say much about but um, is worth mentioning is that uh, the, the staff, they're all research active and there are a number of funded research projects uh, funded by the European Union as well as Irish government initiatives. So I would advise you as well, if you're interested in PhD and research opportunities to reach out to staff directly to find out what opportunities are available. And um, it, it is, certain that graduates from our master's programs, um, a fraction of these people also go on to do research in the international community as well as here in Ireland. So if you decide to apply to our program, this is roughly the timeline. First of all, I expect to be called for interview if you get past our screening um, phase. And then uh, once you're accepted and you confirm, or accept the offer, then uh, expect to arrive around September. We will be communicating with you before that with a number of preparatory tutorials. And there are two examination ses sessions uh, after which you submit your project report on your year long project in around July and August. And it is very important that you meet your supervisor and start the project from day one. So, uh, just in summary, then, this taught master's program targets engineers who wish to specialize in the development of products that exploit new machine learning technologies, both in hardware and software. I didn't say uh, a lot about our hardware program, but it's uh, quite focused on reconfigurable hardware and is a key element to uh, improving the capacity of machine learning algorithms to keep up with with demand. Those are the four main themes in our program. And of course, just to remember that the program is a one year full time program. So I hope you, this piques your interest in the program. Please get in touch if you wish to find out more. And uh, we look forward to your application shortly. Thank you. Mm -hmm.